Hi folks, today we're taking an early first look at Hell Architect gameplay. This is basically oxygen not included if all the colonists were evil, died and went to hell, and all their clothes fell off. Yes, there's nudity. Cartoon nudity, but <laughs> nudity nonetheless. It is a silly game! Uh, I'm playing the Steam demo that's now available from 7th of August 2020. Uh, there's only a brief taste of the game. Uh, really a tutorial that shows you how your sinners will eat, drink, sleep, build, mine and get bled so you can harvest them for more machines. Um, there's going to be a lot of tutorial dialogue, which I'll basically skip, because I've already been through this once, and I know what, uh, what you have to do, and it tells you everything in the top left anyway. So yes, just like Oxygen Not Included, we have to dig our way into the landscape. Get our lads on the move. Uh, yeah, they, think of these as really nasty people, obviously, like um, they, they hate puppies, or whatever. I mean, this game is not for the squeamish. It's cartoony and all that, but the full game does have all kinds of horrible torture stuff. From more jokey stuff to genuinely disturbing. Not everyone will find this perfectly amusing, I guess. Uh, so off they go. Slowly does it. So let's actually speed things up, because otherwise we'll be waiting around. And we need to collect a load of dirt, which we've already collected. But we also need to collect coal and metal. There are blue gems around, but I don't believe you can really do anything with those in this demo. I think that's later on, when you actually get the full game, which will be out God only knows when! Or possibly Satan. Who knows? Anyway, let's do some more digging. We'll probably have to dig quite a lot out. Over the course of the demo, you will need to dig shite tons out, so it's best not to really necessarily build everything right up in the top left, like some of us might have tried to do at some point. Hmm. Well, I could do. Hang on, let's, um, let's, let's really be... um getting these on the move. We will need all of this stuff. Oh, hang on. I think I cancelled that. Oh, but they're, they're all stuck. Ah. Well, let's quickly build up a ladder. You get tutorialised how to build ladders and platforms and everything, but... In fact, I should have just done a platform, shouldn't I? But never mind. Anyway, dig, 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 dig. All this nonsense. And all that. So this will just take a bit of time. We need to, um, another... Oh, there we go. Already done that. Uh, right. so now it's time to build structures that allow us for swift movement through hell. So it's teaching us how to make the platforms and the ladders as I was talking about. So let's actually put the um, platform into action. Let's put that there. And let's also... Hang on, put that there. Ooh, that's less than ideal. Oh, no, no, okay, they can slip through there by the looks of it. Right, let's get them to continue digging here. Oh, hello! Don't do that. Fall off. And uh, there we go. I mean, I'll be able to burst on through to this location if we really wanted. I mean, in this game, you, you only need to make it one high. You don't need to make it repeatedly tall. Uh, so it wants us to build a torch, so let's do that. I think that comes into basics as well. Let's make hell cosy. There. I wonder if they can build it there. Hang on, let's cancel that, because I think that's up in the air, isn't it? Let's actually get them over to do things on the left. Uh, we'll need a bit of space. We'll need some headroom. Now, can they do that? I think they can, yes. So, in fact, let's actually let's dig down instead. We will need the space. Let's build the torch. Let's see, here. And this makes people happy sometimes. But not everyone likes the light. There are individuals with their individual stuffs. Like this guy, his traits. He doesn't like the dark, he doesn't like to be bled, and he doesn't like heat. So, if you torture him using those particular things. That'll, um, that'll be the most efficient way of generating suffering, which is a currency which allows you to... well, it, it helps build certain buildings. Um, so yeah, it's, the, the actual tutorial is now actually telling us to open one of these lads' cards, and we've already done that. And so now it just goes through a lot of old nonsense. Uh, but I'll just go quickly through some of the other stuff as well. Those are the neat character needs, like hunger, thirst, sleep, and bog. Inevitably bog. It looks like they're all going to start needing a poo soon. And there's also a few other things which we're not going to worry about because it's the demo. But yeah, all, they've also got skills at the bottom, so this one is good at constructing. Um, also bartending! In hell! Which is peculiar, but anyway. So now we're going um, to introduce the concept of suffering. So let's build a little torture device, um, which is the Iron Maiden, baby! And so, essentially... Open that assign a sinner to it, and the best person will run along and get tortured. You have to do this manually, because they don't really want to do it. For some reason. I'm not quite sure why. So every eight cycles, or yeah, every eight units of time, we'll get three suffering, and it'll add to the total at the top. But unfortunately, they will get tired in there, and eventually they will run out and go to the, want to go to the bar, or want to go to sleep, or whatever. Again, I'm just skipping through all the tutorial type stuff. So, we... Um, 
So we're actually making a bed and stuff. We need to collect. We're, we need to generate enough suffering before we can build a bed. We've got enough dirt because we've been doing a lot of digging. It looks like we're about to get the, uh, the suffering started. I don't know what she's doing. Here we go. So let's build a sleeping area. Under refine. Oh, no, under, under bedroom, sorry. Paper box. Place to sleep, but mostly to hide from work. And this requires 30 dirt and 5 coal. Um, I'm not going to be very. There's no need to be particularly clever about where you build things in this demo. You do eventually. You basically get five uh, colonists for this demo. And we're about to actually get a new lad. Right, so if you have a look at the, um, the paper box, uh, you can actually assign someone to the bed, but there's no point because they'll just use it. Um, themselves when they need to, so we don't need to worry about that. And there's other stuff as well. Nightmare! This structure increases a sinner's rest bar by 8 per cycle. All very nice indeed. Won't worry too much about the rest of the nonsense. I mean, this is a demo, so do download know this yourself if you want to actually read all the exact notes, exactly what's going on. So now we're talking about food, so let's actually um, build a food area. Um, we'll need to- oh, no, actually, we need, to, we, need a, we need a shitter. Of course we need a shitter, so let's do a bathroom. I think that comes under drink, uh, drink latrine. Let's put the bark right next to the bedroom because we're evil. <laughs> Suffering continues. He just stands there looking goofy. But what I should, what I should be doing, if I was clever, which I am, um, I should also be doing some more digging. Because throughout the course of the demo, we will need a lot more materials. So we may as well be doing this. Do, 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 do. We've got all that. Make sure there's a staircase up so they don't get pissy and not get anywhere. Right, so we've got a bog, and we've got a latrine, and we've got a bed. Uh, the latrine's very straightforward. Again, you don't need to assign them. You can if you want. And so this structure will um, produce ten poos per cycle, which is nice, because we will need that poo. So not worry about that. So now what we need to do is collect some more stuff, because we need to do some manufacturing, because we're going to turn that poo into gold, essentially. Uh, we've got enough suffering. That's just ticked over to the 50, so that's good. Right, so let's build a water squeezer. So this is a manufacturing building, which we'll put right next to the bog, because there will be a process. Basically, the bog produces poo, the poo goes in the squeezer, and then they, then they can actually drink the water. Oh, all my lads are miles away. They're busy, don't you know? Right, so we do need to assign someone to this. But it's got exclamation marks, which I think... Uh, I think we can't actually assign anyone just yet. Uh, it means a lack of resources, and a lack of resources would not allow you to assign a character to a building. So essentially, we just need to wait for them to poo a bit more. Aha! There we go. We have now produced the poo, the exclamation marks have gone, and now we're allowed to assign someone to actually work there. It says no sinners, possibly because they're all busy. Yes, here they are. Oh, someone is now coming. That's fine. Right, so that, they're busy building or digging out that. We should probably be... Um, I shall be assigning... Hang on. I think I'll just go all the way down there for later. And I'll, I'll build a ladder there, otherwise I won't be able to get back up again. Right, so we're now busy doing the water. The squeezer is operating... Oh, the, do you need a... I think you need a wee. Oh, there you go. Off you go. Right, so now we need to... Um, uh, it's still telling me to add the sinner to the water squeezer. I might need to redo that. There we go. That's more like it. And this, so this takes poo and turns it into dirty, dirty water. Lovely dirty water. Sinners will work until one of their needs falls into the red zone. If that happens... Well, let's bring up the needs. The red zone over there. If that happens, they will stop working to satisfy that particular need. Afterwards, they will return to work on their own, but only if several conditions are met. Make sure to always have structures that satisfy needs. If a specific structure is not placed or is occupied, the sim will stop working and wait for it to be built or become vacant. Blah, blah, blah. And stuff like that, really. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, so it still wants me to just do a quickly... Yeah, go through here. Uh, water squeezer is a structure that processes raw materials into finished products. And so on, really. Right, so now we need a bucket. Mr. Bucket. Uh, this will allow them to drink the dirty water. Yes, we're not turning it into clean water. This is not oxygen not included. They, they have to put up with dirt. Yeah, so now <laughs> they can bloody well drink out of a bucket. Ha! I'll learn you from kicking that cat, won't it? Right. So, there's a slight issue here. 
I found this out previously as well. I can't click the bucket because she's standing in front of it. So I don't, I'm not quite sure if, what's the best way of dealing with that. But what I think I will do is try to get them busy doing other stuff. Like that. Do, do, do. Now you will notice in this game, when I actually not included, you don't need to actually um, bring all this stuff that you collect back and put it into places. Right, so that now that woman is left, we can now click on the bucket. Uh, there must be a way of move, moving them, but the trouble is if you try and move them, they don't seem to actually move unless you actually place them into a building or something. Uh, if, well, so whatever, really. Um, we also need a... Okay, so we now need to build some food. So, flesh farm. Flesh farm. There we go. You get busy doing that. Oh, there's a new lad. That's our final lad, Kane. So, we built a flesh farm. It's it's a bit weird, this one, because you don't need people to operate it. It'll just slowly produce meats. Mmm, meats. And there's a lot to these cards. I mean, it goes through it, it, goes through it in painful detail in a tutorial. Do, do, do. Got the resources already. And now we have a cauldron. So we, now we can actually turn that meat into good stuffs, which we can then eat at the trough. Boop, 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 boop. Right. So we need a bit more suffering before we can build the actual thing that allows us to provide the food, which is the trough. <laughs> the little pigs eating at the trough. Now this, there's no poo involved at the moment. There's not enough poo. People are not shitting enough. Ah, oh, make them shit. In which case, let us be digging some more stuff out. And the reason why I'm gathering so much materials is because the demo finishes with you building something that requires a lot of materials. So, I want to get that done now rather than fanning about. We also need to w just wait for a bit more suffering to take place, although that line is running away from the suffering. Come on, people, suffer! Where's Adam? Oh, I think he's in bed. Are you in there? You are. You're having a kip. Should be suffering. Maybe you're having nightmares. Right, this should be it. We should almost we should be able to tick over into. Yes, there we go. Right, so now we can finally build that trough. So very straightforward, really. With both the water and the food, there are just a couple of sta a few stages that you need for it to actually um, operate. Uh, there's the producer, there's the manufacturer, and then there's the actual serving unit. Oh, hello. There you go. Meanwhile, it's all industry down here. Congratulations, you built a trough. Uh, huh. Alright, so Lucifer is apparently pleased with me. Sigh. In this case, the final test is upon you. Trust me, this is a serious one. And this is the last journey. This is basically what finishes the demo. Um, you just need to collect all these things up here. There's a lot of it. But I've almost collected it because I, I I knew I was going to need to do it. Uh, so there's coal to collect, there's metal to collect, and there's suffering to generate. The suffering is going to be the one that takes the longest because uh, we don't really have much. So what I'm going to do is build a second Iron Maiden, baby. There's also a Bath of Kings, though. Ooh, I never did this. That pretty seems to that might be better. Uh, although it also requires higher. Apparently I can't build it, so let's just build this instead. We all need to make sure that someone gets assigned to that. Boop! Right, so that should speed things up a bit. We have... We only need to collect... We've got enough dirt. We need a bit more coal. There. There's a bit. We probably need a bit more than that. Anywhere else? Anywhere easy to get to? Fortunately, I seem to have dug out most of the easy stuff. That might as well be got. Can we get up there? Probably. Unfortunately, everyone's down at the other side. I should have probably dug out this stuff, shouldn't I? Oh, well. Oh, we need a lot more metal. That seems to be a thing that we need. Now, what I could do is build up. Um, from... There. I think they can... Hopefully they can jump up there. Yes, they can. So there's some good-looking metal. And a bit more coal as well. Let's maybe just... Make some stairs up to there. I'm just making the stairs because it's easier rather than just actually making actual stair ladders. Right, so we're nearly there with... Um... Oh, no, we're not, really. Oh, yes, we are, but the coal, the coal is nearly there, which is it's taking quite a while because I really shouldn't have gone and got that bit. That was terrible. Terrible bit of coal over here. Tiniest little minuscule bit. Let's concentrate on getting... Oh, God, there's loads of stuff up here. Let's, let's go up in the air. Now, can you do this like can in Oxygen Not Included? No, you can't. Oh well. I'll have, to, I'll have to dig it out first. 
and then build the ladder. So cancel that one, because that's totally pointless, and that one. Now we'll probably have to build a little laddery poos here. Just build it there. And cancel that bit. Right, so they'll trundle around. We've got enough coal now, apparently. So now we need to actually sort out the metal. Unfortunately, I seem to be going for the coal. Metal, we need 60 more. Uh, I think it's... Every time you hit a pocket, I think that's worth 10. So that won't take us too much longer. If you hover over this, by the way, small blue crystals used to build high-level structures. Right now, you don't have the tech required to dig it up. So that's that sketch knackered then. Same with the green crystals. Uh, I think there's... Are there any others? Don't think so. There's all the resources in the current demo. Right, now we can actually... Is it worth going up in the air? I'm not sure it is. I think we might have actually got enough from where we are. Oh no, hang on, we do need a smidge more. And uh, that's all, that appears to be all coal, so let's... Let's just quickly dig over here. Is that actually... Oh, it says only a small bit of metal art. Oh, that only gives you two bits of metal. Oh, I didn't notice that. There's actually a difference between small and big. Ew. How tremendously awful. Right, I think we're very close to actually doing this. Uh, we'll finish the demo. And we can all go home. There we go. Got all the stuff that we need. So, last test is very, very straightforward. We just have to build... You can actually build... There's actually some other stuff here and there. Like, you can actually build a chandelier. If you really want to. Let's do that. <laughs> Although, having said that, I might have actually just now used it while I need to. Anyway, the, under the research tab, there is the uh, forbidden fruit. The legends say it's a very special building. Common. Let's see what is behind this. Well, the, de the end of the demo, basically. That's a nice chandelier, that. Very pretty. Anything else we can, we can have a look at? Oh, congratulations. I've actually completed it. Um, uh, no, there's no. I think, I think the only thing is uh, there's chandelier and shelf, and those are the only other things. The only thing that we didn't build is the the extra torture device, which I don't think I had the equipment for. But that's it. That's the end of the demo. Victory, well done. I, unfortunately, I've got this build menu in the way, but but shush. <laughs> Never mind. Um, only half competent, but but shush. Anyway, so yes, this is available as a demo from, from Steam at the moment. Hell Architect. Don't know when the full game's going to come out. And we keep a lookout for it if you like your oxygen not included type stuff. And you don't mind a bit of weird sickness from time to time. And thanks for watching. Do subscribe to the channel to be notified when new stuff goes live. About all the latest and best new indie games around. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.